Hey guys, welcome back to BJ Tech News, episode 101. So today's episode is trying to delete the thumbs.db files. Now, at my job, um, if you have a file share server or you dealt with these little particular files right here that I'm displaying on my desktop, um, you're basically saying to yourself, where are these files are coming from? Now, the thumbs.db files are small hidden system files that basically get generated when you view media in a folder, such as pictures, MP3 files um, that had album covers um, as thumbnails, and so on. Now, I did a search on my C drive, and on my C drive, I did a search of thumbs.db. As you can see, I have a few. But if you're dealing with a corporate environment and you have a lot of Mac users, like the marketing group that deals with photos and videos, you're going to see this everywhere. Trust me. I've seen it today at my job. And I had to get rid of it because, believe it or not, all this stuff adds up to gigs and gigs and gigs and it's just, it goes kind of crazy. So, one of the problems is sometimes these thumbs.db files get locked up and you cannot delete them. So, I want to show you guys a couple ways to delete them. One way to delete them is basically uh, you can run a script and the script that you would like to run uh, with your command, uh, I'm actually, and with my command prompt, I'm already path to this particular section right here, to this path, because I'm going to show you how to delete one individually and how to do it how to push out group policies and all that good stuff so what you want to do is you want to push out a attribute command with a s uh dash s dash h and the name of the drive of the file I mean. now what this means so the attribute command is basically allows a user to change the properties of a specific file uh, I gave it the parameter of s dash s, which is system file attribute, and dash hidden files attribute. Okay, the the dash basically indicates it clears the attributes. Okay, once you do that, you hit enter, and you basically can do the delete command db, and it will delete it. That's one quick way. Okay. But you, you're probably saying to yourself, like, okay, uh, I have so many of these files everywhere, you know, I can't do that all the time. Okay, cool. Another way, another option that you could do this, if you're doing it more on a personal level, uh, you go to computer, and you go to tools, folder options, view, and this little check mark right here, you're going to check it. Allow, always show icons, never thumbnails. You check that hit apply and that's a way to get rid of those thumbnails from your system so you won't have that cache database okay uh, another option is to use your local policy on your machine so you basically how to do that um, you go to your start menu and you write GP edit dot MSC and you let that load up and you would get the local group policy editor now you want to go let's maximize this and you want to do this this is more of a user configuration section so we want to go to administrative templates uh, windows components and uh, windows explorer now for windows 8 keep in mind if you guys are doing this for windows 8 Win windows 8 windows explorer is actually for file explorer okay keep that in mind Windows Explorer is actually called File Explorer on Windows 8. So if you guys are doing it on the Windows 8 side, make sure that you guys pick the right one. Now, the one that you want to pick is the one that says Turn Off Caching of Thumbnail Picture. So, where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? There you go. Double click on that and you want to enable it. If you enable the setting, thumbnail views are not cached. Okay? So that's another way of doing it. Now, you can also do it as a registry. There's so many ways to doing things with technology, and I'm basically showing you guys all the tricks. So you go to start, and you want to type in to go into the registry. I believe. I'm trying to remember. I'm trying to remember. I'm trying to remember. Uh, 
uh, reg edit ms dot c. Do that again. Where is it? Reg edit. It. There we go. And we're gonna hit yes on this. And try to remember was the path. I took some notes. Uh, it's always good to take some notes, guys. And let's maximize this. And let me ex expand this. And I'm gonna close this now. Again. This is more of a user level, so you got to go into the current user uh, registry key. Uh, once you do that, you want to go to software, expand software. Uh, current, oh, sorry guys. Uh, what is it? Current user, software. You want to go into the Microsoft node. Where is the Microsoft node? Okay, and you want to go to Windows. And you want to go to current view and explore and within explore you want to go into advance now what you want to do with advance you want to create a new d word so you're going to right click and create a new d word a d word 32 bit now once you do that you want to call it delete gotta spell it right delete thumbnail Cash. Hit enter. And the value of that would be a one. Hit OK, restart your machine, you're good to go. I'm actually going to delete this. Okay? Because uh, the cache files normally don't bother me as much, but hey, that's up to you. So that's one option. Okay? Then the other option is to. Was one more option, guys. And believe it or not, if you right click in, on your hard drive, so if I'm going to close the registry key, and I'm going to go to start, go to computers, and if you right click on your hard drive and go to properties, you can do a disk cleanup. And within your disk cleanup, you can actually see thumbnails. So what I'm going to do is, I don't want this. Make sure thumbnails, press OK, delete all the files, and that's a cleanup for the thumbnails. I don't know if it actually clean everything up, so let me navigate to one of them. Uh, let's go to right clear splatter images and no splatter ink. It's still there. Um, again, you could do a a big run to delete everything. I think if you do. If, if I believe, let me see, if I do a CD backslash and I do a delete thumbs, I don't know if thumbs.db forward slash s forward slash q and it gives me an access deny. That's okay, that's okay. So that means something happened, something happened, something got deleted. So you guys saw it deleted. So you can actually run that command on the C, on the C level and shoot it out and it will find all your thumbs.db and delete it in one shot. Uh, that's about it guys. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. At the very bottom there's a comment section. Hey, give me some comments as well. If you enjoyed this video, give me thumbs up. At the very top right there, there is a subscribe button. Hit that subscribe button if you guys want to get the greatest and latest tips and review on hardware and software. And don't forget about gaming. So I catch you guys later and thank you.